Hey there, Amanda and Courtney here. We're the hosts of a true crime podcast, A Nefarious Nightmare. We cover lesser known true crime cases and do so empathetically, but sometimes we can use a break from all of the horrible and depressing cases that we talk about. That's where Live Laugh Larceny comes in. This podcast, hosted by friends Trevin and Amanda, covers dreadful dilemmas in real life petty crime stories in the style of audio drama. Man, and let us just say it's incredible. I mean, it cracks me up every single time and we are just living for it. So make sure you guys listen to Live Laugh Larceny by clicking on the link in the episode description and just smack that subscribe button. Plus, the show is available wherever you get your podcasts. As soon as they arrived at the party, David felt extremely out of place. This was nothing like Grandma's wild Friday bingo nights. There was loud music, topless young ladies, and someone had even spilled snacks all over a couch. Just as soon as he considered leaving, the host of the party offered David a beer and told him to help himself to the fridge. Have a drink. You're creeping people out. What a hospitable host, David exclaimed as he grabbed himself two beers, one for each hand. He wasn't much of a drinker, but he thought that a couple beers couldn't hurt. He slowly sipped the foamy, cool brew as his hips gently swayed to the party music. It wasn't long before two hours had passed and David had finished both beers. He politely excused himself from the party as his neighbors reassured him that they would find a ride home. Instead of turning his car radio on to his go-to jazz station, David chose the unfamiliar rock one to accompany him on his short drive home. He felt like a new man, a party-going man. He shook his head up and down to the rock beat and even played some air guitar while trying to stay straight on the road. Unfortunately, his one-man rock band was quickly interrupted as he saw bright red and blue lights quickly approaching his car. David began to panic as he heard the disappointed voice of his grandmother ringing over and over again in his head about drinking and driving. I am so disappointed. This could not be the way his night ended. What would party David do? That is when he decided to pull over and run from his vehicle. Just as drinking wasn't something David did often, neither was running. He had only taken a few long strides when a police officer tackled him to the side of the road. The officer informed him that he had been swerving all over and that they would need to breathalyze him as they placed David in the back seat of the patrol car. The lecturing voice of his strict grandmother again replayed in his mind. He frantically looked around the back seat for something to soak up the two beers he had consumed earlier that evening but found nothing. That is when a second idea formed in David's mind. He quickly and aggressively ripped out the crotch of his underwear and shoved the cloth deep into his mouth. As he began to chew, he felt a huge sense of defeat. There was no way he would be able to stomach that butt cloth he had partied in all evening. Finally giving in to the consequences, he spit out the chunk of crotch cloth and waited for his punishment. Thank you for listening to this preview of our show. To hear the full story and many other petty crimes, listen and subscribe to Live Laugh Larceny on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.